It's no secret that Earth's temperatures are warming. Every decade, we're heating up about a third of a degree Fahrenheit, and weather patterns and ecosystems are responding accordingly. The eight warmest years on record have all occurred in the past eight years, and the breakneck pace of warming shows no signs of slowing anytime soon. The planet has already warmed about 1.1 degrees Celsius, or roughly 2 degrees Fahrenheit, since the Industrial Revolution. While conventional media outlets show overutilized file footage of polar bears clinging to distant ice chunks in the high Arctic, the changing conditions are manifesting locally. They're showing up in the weather conditions we face every day. Heat waves are getting hotter and more frequent, wildfires are exhibiting more extreme fire behavior, and drought and flood extremes are becoming that much more extreme. Hurricanes are becoming stronger and more prone to rapid intensification. Rainfall rates are getting heavier, and cold season tornado outbreaks are breaking records. The warmer the Earth continues to get, the more these outlier events will begin to enter the realm of routine. And now the World Meteorological Organization is cautioning that Earth is likely to break a critical temperature threshold in the next five years. That benchmark is 1.5 degrees Celsius, or about 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit, above pre-industrial temperatures. We're talking nowadays versus before 1850. But where did that number come from? The Paris Climate Accords, an informal agreement signed by 196 countries. It was ratified at the United Nations Climate Change Conference on December 12, 2015. Now, there's nothing magic about that number. It's just an arbitrary threshold. But it signifies a key issue with climate change. Positive feedback mechanisms. The more we warm the planet, the more cycles we unlock to reinforce that warming. Melting ice, for example, means less of a white shiny surface to reflect away sunlight. That results in more incoming sunlight and means more heating. Melting permafrost in the high Arctic releases more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, accelerating warming further. And a warmer world means the air holds more moisture, which in turn traps more heat. The World Meteorological Organization says there's a 2 in 3 chance we breach that 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold for the first time in the next five years. Scientists also assert we'll be there more permanently beginning in the 2030s. Also on their cards, the Arctic looks to warm three times more quickly than the mid-latitudes. That could help make the jet stream wavier and the weather weirder. The expression of ongoing warming is expected to overlap with an El Nino pattern, which begins with the warming of water temperatures in the eastern tropical Pacific. Earth's temperatures tend to be warmer anyway during an El Nino. Added together, will supercharge climate change. The WMO is forecasting the next five years to end up as the warmest five-year block on record. They say it's nearly a guarantee. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.